it's not becoming straight. My lines used to be really straight. You can see my the lines which I wanted straight, like the eye line and the shape of the face. They don't have any shakiness or curve. They had curve where I wanted curve. It has the pointiness. But the lines were shaky because of the trimmers. While I, I was trying to draw, I was getting constant pain on these two fingers and the pain is pain is bad you remember I was evicted by my landlady before I was put into a temporary accommodation and after that I was in the new place for a few more months and then I had the accident So one afternoon, I was in the kitchen and the ceiling, the damp ceiling fell on my head. And after that accident, I came down with post-traumatic migraine. My lower back so bad that I started limping. All the sufferings I'm having, it's because of the landlord's negligence. Sorry. <laughs> My bad. I did it. And the smaller one is harder. It twists my... <laughs> It's like the f beans, they don't want me to pick them. They keep running away. So let's blame the beans. Yeah, that's, that's better than blaming myself. Than blaming my fingers and my hand. So when I was buying all this new one, I was so excited that, okay, I might have lost my previous materials but I have all these brand new materials now but I couldn't even touch them you can see I'm not having just a simple temporary change in my life it's a permanent effect in my life yeah oh my candle I'm a mess Oh, I have plenty of games in my phone. I forget. Hello, Cynthia. Hello, Cynthia. Hello, Cynthia. How are you, Cynthia? How are you, Cynthia? Cynthia, it's okay to have pain. Even he doesn't want to tell me it's okay to have pain. Yes, I know that. Yes, I know that. Bye-bye. Bye. I'm trying to live one more day, uh, just one thing at a time, one thing at a time. I'm trying to mend something and something else get messed in other place. So I have been just trying to, not trying, I have been just struggling to mend my life constantly for the last few years. Nothing is going right with me. All this situation has left me with physical health changes, mental health changes like depression, anxiety, PTSD.
So you just name a thing. And I might say, oh, this happened to me. Oh, this is going on. Oh, I also have vatio. I also have migraine. I also have this and that. That's how my life has been for last few years. I'm tired of crying now. The first meeting London Renters Union had that I was supposed to go there and that was the morning when I was illegally evicted by my landlady. So when I came to the first meeting of London Renters Union, I was a homeless person. They put me into the temporary accommodation thing. The support I got from London Renters Union was so much for me. This kind of brush will give you precise writing. So the campaign is uh, called Rent Frizz. We're not sure about our outcome, but we need to fight for it. We need to fight for it unitedly. Housing is a human right. Here's a state, here's a fight. What do we do? Stand up, fight back. What do we do? Stand up, fight back. Fight back. Fight back. Fight back. I have this family, which is London Renters Union. I was a single finger. But since I joined my union, I feel like I'm a face now. And it's easier to break a single finger, but it's not easier to break a fist. So that's the change in my confidence level now. We don't need a doll's house. We're living in doll's houses which can fall over on our heads anytime. And we need to come down to the street together and show them we are powerful together and we will get what we want. <laughs> to the renters. And if the government, the central government doesn't listen to us straight away, we might have to keep going on with the action, we might have to keep campaigning. Because our backs are stuck on the wall. There is no way we can go any backwards. We can only go forward and marching forwards, it's only our action towards the government saying that please do this.